Welcome to the 30 day eye hand coordination training challenge. Welcome to session one. Today we need four pieces of equipment. First off, we need a poker chip or coin, penny, nickel, dime, does not matter, quarter, just a coin. Number two is a click pen. Number three is a spoon. Number four is our trail making exercise. There's a list of these linked in the description below that you can go ahead and print off. And that's it, those four pieces of equipment. If you struggle with tremors and you're trying to improve the coordination, your hand-eye coordination, it can be helpful to get wrist weights, one pounder ideal, uh, and that way you can give your brain more information about where your limb is in space. Also, if you have tremors, you may want to get a sticky note with either an X or an A and put that on the wall. We'll be doing some gaze stabilization exercises. And instead of holding up a pen, you may want to use that sticky note on the wall. But those are, are the things we need the equipment for today. Exercise number one, we need our click pen and a spoon. Go ahead and just watch first, and then I'll give you a, a little time to set up and jump in. So we're gonna have that arm, one arm with a way, that pen, I should say, and the spoon faces towards us. That is our table setup. For our hand, we take our index finger and it touches the tip of the nose. Starting position, okay? Eyes are fixed on the pen. They are just fixated on it. Okay, so we're gonna take the tip of the finger and touch the tip of the pen, click it, come back to center. As soon as our hand comes back to center, our eyes jump to the spoon, and then we tap the spoon. The eyes then jump to the click pen, okay? Eyes jump to the spoon. So the eyes are jumping back and forth. The head is not turning. We're not going this way to this way, okay? Just the eyes are moving. So it's a little bit of saccades, eyes are jumping back and forth with some hand-eye coordination. So I'm gonna go ahead, let you pause the video, get your uh, click pen and your spoon set up so you can jump in and join along. All right, let's jump in. We're gonna do one minute on each arm, okay? So you have your objects in front of you. Remember the head is not moving, only the eyes. Start with that index finger on the tip of the nose at your own pace. Go from one object, eyes jump to the other. Focus on accuracy. Your head is staying still. Only your eyes are moving. Fantastic job. Now we're gonna switch sides so your other hand can do the movements from the finger to nose. Okay. So uh, items are on the table, index fingers on the tip of the nose. Eyes are fixed on one object. So for me, it's gonna be the spoon first, okay? Touch the tip of the spoon, come back to the nose, eyes jump back and forth. Remember, you're not moving your head.
fantastic job with our first exercise. Exercise number two, you just need your trail making exercise. Um, there's a lot of PDFs to print off in the description below and your coin. Okay, I'm using a poker chip. Um, at the top of your trail making is going to be instructions for you personally for the one that you pick out. Read the instructions and find your starting point. The instructions for this one are to jump back and forth between letters and numbers. A1, B2, C3. So find your starting point. Put your coin or your chip down. Okay. Go ahead and look for the next letter number that you need. So I need a one. My head is still. My eyes scan and once they find it, I return back to the coin and I slide while I track with my eyes. So slowly slide and track with the eyes. Let go. Look for your next one, okay? Slide and track with the eyes. Let the eyes track that moving object, okay? Look for the next one, slide and track down. Don't move the head, just the eyes. Go ahead and do your trail making exercise with one hand and then switch to the other. Exercise number three. You're gonna need two pieces of equipment, your spoon and either your poker chip or your coin. Go ahead and take a minute to just watch first, okay? So the spoon is facing towards you, but a little bit away from the body. And then your poker chip or your coin is right at the tip of it. So we're gonna start with our finger to target. So our little our tip of our index finger is on the tip of the nose, and we're gonna go to the spoon first. So touch the tip to the spoon, focus on accuracy, okay? Now we're gonna go to the coin. We're gonna keep our head still. Go to the coin and slide it to the side as far as you can, tracking with the eyes only. We're not turning the head, only the eyes. Leave it there. Go back, jump to the spoon. Now jump back to the coin, finger to target. Back to the tip of the spoon, okay? We go spoon, coin, spoon, coin. We're just practicing sliding out as far as you can without losing track of it. Remember, it's only the eyes, okay? Just back and forth. We'll do for one minute on each side. So go ahead, get everything set up. Ready? Remember, go slow to focus on accuracy first, not speed. And remember to keep your head still because we're practicing and training the movement and the coordination of the eyes. All right, one minute. Start with the tip of the finger on the tip of the nose first. Go straight to your spoon. Then nose coin. Fantastic. Switch sides, go slow, focus on accuracy. Start with the tip of the finger to the tip of the nose. Go for that spoon first. Then your coin or chip. You're not moving your head, just your eyes.
fantastic job with exercise three. Exercise number four, gaze stabilization, so important. We need our dynamic visual acuity for everything we do in life. So the eyes are gonna stay fixed on the pen. Your pen is one arm width away while the head turns from side to side. Now, if the pen starts to get blurry or if you start to see two, that means you need to slow down. Go really slow. Once you get better and better, then you want to speed up. If you're really struggling with tremors, you can go ahead and instead put a sticky note with an X or an A on the wall and then stare at the wall on that, on that sticky note and go side to side. That is another option as well. All right, get your pen or your sticky note ready and then jump in and join along. All right, ready? Okay, you have your eyes fixed while your head is turning. All right, go ahead at your own pace. Eye is fixed, head is turning. Fantastic job, that was one minute. Vertical head turns, hold that pen horizontally. Head goes up and down while the eyes stay still. If you have tremors or if it's too difficult to hold that pen steady, go ahead get that X or that A on a sticky note on the wall. All right, vertical head turns at your own pace, one minute. Fantastic job with your vertical head turns. And those were our exercises for today. I'd go ahead and repeat them three to four times throughout the day. Little doses, they add up. Now what you can do in the description below is um, either list a description of the exercises or there's a thing called a timestamp. It's a link. If you press that, it's going to fast forward you to right after this where I'm going to give a quick review visual demo of all of the exercises. That way, if you want to come back and you don't want to watch the whole video, you just click the timestamp and I'll fast forward you and you can get a quick review of today's exercises to repeat because small doses, we need to repeat them. Okay, you're fantastic. You're amazing. This is so, so difficult, but don't give up little steps together, we can make some big gains. Exercise number one, click pen and spoon, arm width away. Start with the index finger on the tip of the nose. This is your starting position. Have the eyes fixed on your target. For me, it's the click pen. No moving the head, only the eyes. Let them fixate. Click, nose, and then jump the eyes over. 
and then press nose click nose press back and forth do not move the head only let the eyes jump back and forth Exercise number two, you just need your trail making exercise. Um, there's a lot of PDFs to print off in the description below and your coin. Okay, I'm using a poker chip. Um, at the top of your trail making is going to be instructions for you personally for the one that you pick out. Read the instructions and find your starting point. The instructions for this one are to jump back and forth between letters and numbers. A1, B2, C3. So find your starting point. Put your coin or your chip down. Okay. Go ahead and look for the next letter number that you need. So I need a one. My head is still. My eyes scan and once they find it, I return back to the coin and I slide while I track with my eyes. So slowly slide and track with the eyes. Let go. Look for your next one, okay? Slide and track with the eyes. Let the eyes track that moving object, okay? Look for the next one, slide and track down. Don't move the head, just the eyes. Go ahead and do your trail making exercise with one hand and then switch to the other. Exercise three, you need those two pieces of equipment, just your spoon and either that poker chip or that coin. The spoon faces you, the poker chip or the coin is at the tip of the spoon. You start with your finger to target, so you start with your finger to the spoon, and then you come back up, go to the coin. Slide the coin to the side as far as you can, no moving your head, only your eyes, remember? Come back, finger to spoon, finger to coin, sliding it in. Finger to spoon, back and forth, finger, spoon, finger, coin. Not moving the head, only the eyes as you slide it to the side and back. Exercise number four is our gaze stabilization. So important. What we're going to do is hold up that pen one arm width away. Keep your eyes fixated on the pen. The eyes do not move, but the head does. Eyes are fixed while the head is turning side to side. The head turns at your own pace. If the pen starts to get blurry or double vision, that means we need to slow down. Go really slow to maintain that, that focus. Now, if you have tremors and that's too difficult because your hand is moving, you can go ahead and put that X or that A sticky note on the wall and use that stationary target instead. Next, we have our vertical head turns. All right, so the pen is gonna go horizontal while the head turns up and down. Option B, if you have tremors or instability, then you can go ahead and use that X, that A up on the wall and use that stationary target instead.